I have a message for anyone that's like hurting. This is kind of like a healing message. So to anyone that's kind of going through something. As believers, many of us pray for a new car, a new house, a girlfriend, a husband, wife. Amen. But we overlook the most important thing. The only thing that matters in this life, our salvation. Our relationship with our Savior, Jesus Christ. My message to you all today is God is enough. If you could turn your Bibles with me to Matthew chapter 6, if you have it, say amen. amen. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body. What you shall put on is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment. Behold, the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much better than they? When you see birds flying around, do they look stressed out to you? Do they look like they're worrying about where their next meal will come from? No, they appreciate the wings that God gave them. They appreciate the air they're flying in. We are much more than birds. We can speak to God directly, so why do we worry? And we're still in Matthew chapter 6. If you can go to verses 19 and 20. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust does corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust does corrupt, Amen. and where thieves do not break through nor steal. And then if you could turn to Colossians chapter 3, verse 2. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. Yes. Romans chapter 8, verse 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. A lot of us are familiar with the book of Job and how God put him through many trials and tests. How he allowed the devil to destroy his life. It was actually so hard that Job cursed the day that he was born. But in the end, God gave him twice as much. He just wanted to see how much he loved him. I'm asking you today, are you as faithful as Job? What if that was you? Do you love him that much? What if God never gives you that brand new car? What if God never gives you that brand new house? What if you're not meant to marry that person? Are you going to turn your back on God? We forget just how much he loves us. Whatever you're going through, it is not worthy to compare to what God has prepared for those who are faithful to him. This world isn't going to last forever. I don't care how much money you have. I don't care how nice your clothes are. You can't take anything with you. Rich or poor, everyone goes into the same ground. Amen. These clothes are temporary. I don't even own this body. This belongs to the Lord. Everything dies in this world. Everything gets old in this world. But our treasures in heaven, our eternal Amen. life is forever. Amen. We were created to serve him, not to serve our flesh. We were created to serve him, not to satisfy our desires for material things. Now, let us look forward to things above. Let us be on fire no matter what we are going through in this life. We are so blessed to be children of God. He handpicked each and every single person in this room to be his child. Don't worry about anything, but instead pray about everything. God is enough. Thank you.